Hi guys, and welcome back to another, I might like call them episodes of Zoom into Church. Oh yeah. Um, it's great to see you all this week. We hope you've had a lovely week at school or work, however old you are, because we're all ages. Um, <laughs> yeah, dear. <laughs> Um, but no, we, we obviously hope you've had a great week and we hope you enjoy today's service. So obviously I'm back with Han this week. After last week's little bit of a cold week. We've, we've warmed up, haven't we've we? We've warmed up. It took Stored a few out. days to yeah. warm up. I must admit, that evening I went home and I had to eat my dinner in my coat. And, and about an hour later, Alex came down and she was like, are you, are you in your coat still? And I was like, I'm so cold. <laughs> And I had to text Hannah earlier today, I was like, if you are making us do another challenge, I was not going to be happy. Um, yeah, it's, it's not like that this week. Do, so you, want, do you want to introduce yeah. it? Yeah, so this week we're going to have a little game of the five second rule game. I don't know if you played this at home, but we're going to have five seconds to name three of something. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I'm going to, this isn't going to be one of the, the um, the ones that we're going to do, but one of the examples could be you've got five seconds to name three Beatles songs. I'm not sure many of our young people would know those, but maybe some of our older uh, generations might be able to. And uh, you could do it, do you think? Anyway, so we're going to have five seconds to do each of those. Um, and we've got five each, I think. So I'm going to read out five for good. We'll take it in turns. We'll go one after the other. One after the other, and we're going to see who can get the most out of those. So we've got a little timer, which when you tick it upside down, the beads go down, although one of them got delayed. But we'll make sure... You just have we'll to make, Yeah, we'll make sure it works properly, don't worry. Um, and that is our five-second timer. You might have five seconds on screen so that it shows the countdown. Sorry, Adrian, giving me more work. Um, but, should we get into it? Let's do it. Do you want me to start? Yeah, I think so. So I'll tell you yours first. Oh, or, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me, I can go first if you want. Okay. Okay, you ready? Okay, so do it after I've... Yeah, I've... finish your sentence. Okay, so name three flavors of milkshake. Uh, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Ace it, ace it. That, that one, that one was, that, that was a nice one. Right, so I've got one. Okay, got you guys, one out of the five, right? You guys can play this at home if you guys want to see if you can test your own knowledge. Oh, you won't remember Shake Shack. Um, no, what was it called? Shakeway. Shakeway and Hennigan? Yeah. Oh, it was so good. Oh, Heather used to take us there on you. Oh. oh, it was so good. <laughs> Right, name three types of tea. Oh, Rybosh, Earl Grey, Black, English tea. I mean, Hannah was always going to get that. You drink <laughs> tons of different types of tea. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was always going to go down well. Right. Okay. Name three types of vegetables. Carrot, broccoli, peas. Great. I feel like these are quite easy. These currently are, but I feel like they're going to get harder. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Name three different types of cheese. A Gouda, Brie, Cheddar. There's been a lot of cheese in that house recently. I do love cheese, it's great. What's your favourite type of cheese? Oh, goats. Goats? Goats cheese. Oh, under, it's such an underrated cheese because everyone oh. hates it. I really like feta. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm. Anyway, name three, this is a bit trickier now. Okay. Name three movie villains. Uh, Bane. I, my brain, yeah. Oh. <laughs> So go. currently you got two right and Ooh. one wrong. I can't even think of three now. <laughs> <laughs> oh why did I just think of like all the Marvel films like Thanos 
to that moment. Anyway. Um, I think about Cruella de Vil. Oh, uh, bitch, what? <laughs> <laughs> that shows you the different types of films we watch. Okay. <laughs> You'll get this. If you don't have this within two seconds, I'll be worried. Okay. <laughs> Name three princesses. Um, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, um, Aurora. No, Aurora, um, oh, Jasmine. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty is Aurora, isn't she? I think so. I'm not 100% sure. I've never watched it. So. I'm pretty sure <laughs> Sleeping Beauty is, oh. We are having an adjudicator check that to one. Man. Um, okay, so we go for yours first and we'll, we'll come back we'll to come back to it. Right. I'm hoping you didn't get that somehow. Why did you say Ariel? No, I said Aurora and I said Sleeping Princess Beauty. Aurora, also known as Sleeping Beauty. Oh no! Thank you, Adjudicator. So, we're both equal right now. This is, this is all to play for. So, you've got it. Oh! Princess Aurora, also known as Sleeping Beauty. No, but yeah. I said Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Aurora. Ah, because of this. Oh, oh. oh. oh yeah. I mean, yeah. It, you would have got away with that because I had no I thought that. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it. Yeah, that, that's why. Like, <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> okay. Name three places you might find a light bulb. Uh, in a room, on a, in a car, in a shed. Nice. Solid. Solid. Okay. Um, oh, this is interesting. Right. Name three things you might find in a greenhouse. Um, green beans, tomatoes, tomato, um, flowers. <laughs> <laughs> vegetables and you would have got that. And you just pretty <laughs> beans tomatoes. You have them within about a second and a half. Uh, to, you know, we have, we've had cucumbers in our greenhouse this year at the eyeballs. Gaz isn't gonna be happy with No, you, he's not. He's not. <sighs> I'm really sorry. So that means you need me to get this one wrong in yeah. order to draw. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I live for. Pressure moments. Okay, name three things you can cover with chocolate. Uh, cake. No! I can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberries, bananas, biscuits, grapes, anything. marshmallows, biscuits. You can cover basically anything. <laughs> <so mean. laughs> Why? Oh no, I've thrown it! Let me... Oh, you will get this as well. Okay. <laughs> this is all to play for, well, guys. Well, I said you'd get it on the princess. I know, but I think that pressure got to me a little Just bit. Just about that pressure. Yeah, don't. You need it. It's all right, it's all right. We might, we might need some sudden death cards um, if Hannah gets this one. Did you like my little hint to whoever is behind the camera? <laughs> <laughs> right. Three, two, oh, sorry. <laughs> this is kind of you up. Um, name three items that have a sell by date. Um, oranges, yogurts, um, tomatoes, milk. Yeah, you can have all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are they? Yeah, they are sell by. Are they sell by or? Oh, no, they are sell by. Yeah. They're not best, of course. Did you say cheese? No, I said milk and yogurt. Oh. Um, well, I think it's a draw. Um, our adjudicators had to run off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've just had a very funny draw. Oh, back. he's back. <laughs> right. Do you have a card for, to do for me? Um, okay, let's. So we're doing it like do a penalty it. shootout style. So I have a go, Hannah has a go. Okay. okay. Just trying to find the even ones. I'll, I'll, I'll try this, okay. Gideon, Yeah. name three things to do if the power goes off. Uh, put on a candle, find a torch, 
try to read a book under candlelight. Okay. Um, Hannah, name three things you can crack. An egg, a knuckle, a leg. Can you crack a leg? Crack a leg? I, I mean, that's, that's it. it. That <laughs> is <laughs> absolutely... That's not... No, no. You can crack, you can crack a bone in your leg. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, that is horrendous. You don't crack a leg. Okay. Um, give you name three things you can chew. Uh, gum, bubble gum, food. Anything. Uh, chewing gum, gum, yeah. gum and bubble gum are the same thing. No, so. Chewing gum and bubble gum are different. And also you got away with the last one. <laughs> okay, Gideon. Oh, we're going to go again. Go again. Go again. Name three mountains. Uh, Snowden, Ben Nevis, Penny Gen, anything, yeah. Okay. Any, you need to anything doesn't count. Hannah, name three things you eat with rice. Curry. Um, pasta, no, um, curry, oh, stir fry! Oh. <sighs> okay, I think Gideon's won. You threw that! No, I didn't! I genuinely didn't. <laughs> pasta! <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was on the spot. Hey, you could have orzo, which is rice pasta. Ooh, Ooh. very nice. I mean, I mean anyway. Yeah. Hannah, what's the score? 14, 3. What a shame. What a shame. I was so close again. You were. You were. We're right. playing some better on the link games, on the level games. Anyway, this week I am super duper 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 excited because we're starting a new um, sermon series and and it's called Frontlines and I'm really excited about it and I've just been telling Gid all about it and I got very excited and was jumping around the room. I'm not going to do that right now but I am really excited about it because we're talking about how we as um, children or young adults or adults or slightly older adults can be missional in the places that we um, are Monday to Friday or Saturday or Sunday and um, whatever we call work or home life um, how we can bring Jesus into that and that is just awesome because that is what we're called to do anyway um, but we're dedicating five weeks to it which is really cool and um, and this week um, and while we're doing that for Zoom into church um, I want to look at or we're going to look at um, different characters in the Bible who are a little bit different who might not be your usual people that uh, we would expect Jesus to look at go to and have conversation with but how those people then go and make awesome difference in the places where they're at and so we're going to start this week with Zacchaeus who is um, a tax collector and he is not a good man and so I'm going to be reading from this story from this book again from the rhyming bible and I just need you to give me a, a quick second while I find... Did you lose the page? There we go. Okay, so the story this week is called Little Man Up in the Tree. Little man, little man, peep through the branches. Little man up in the tree. Little man, what are you looking for? Little man, what do you see? Why are you hiding, Zacchaeus? Why do you dangle your feet? Are you afraid of the people below gathering in the street? Are you afraid that they'll see you, the man who takes taxes for Rome, that pay for the soldiers who beat them and leave them to suffer and groan? Are you afraid they'll grab you alone and without your men and hurt you because you have cheated them again and again and again. Little man, peep through the branches. Little man, up in the tree. Little man, what are you looking for? Little man, what do you see? Jesus is coming, Zacchaeus, coming to Jericho town. And everyone wants to have tea with him. See how they swarm around. Come and eat with me, they all beg him. See how he tells them all no. 
He's looking for something Zacchaeus. Where do you think he will go? Jesus! Jesus is coming Zacchaeus! Is that what you're looking for? Why would he eat with someone like you? Who steals from the working poor? Little man, peep through the branches. Little man, up in the tree. Little man, what are you looking for? Little man, what do you see? He's speaking to you, Zacchaeus. He's spotted you up in that tree. Listen, he's saying, Zacchaeus, come down. Let's go to your house for tea. The crowd is now shouting, Zacchaeus! Why would you go with that cheat? Why would you spend time with sinners, Jesus? Why would you go there to eat? Down from the tree now, Zacchaeus, off to serve Jesus his tea. What will he say and what will he do? It's all a big mystery. Little man, peep through the branches. Little man, up in the tree. Little man, what are you looking for? Little man, what do you see? What's that you're saying, Zacchaeus? You're sorry for being a crook. You'll pay back the money you've stolen. Four times the money you took. You're helping the poor too, Zacchaeus. Everyone's shocked by your plans. And Jesus says, grinning from ear to ear, salvation has come to this man. Everyone's smiling, Zacchaeus. And it seems that you're smiling too. You thought you were looking for Jesus. But Jesus came looking for you. What a great story that It's a great is. one, isn't it? It is really good. I like that rhyme in the Bible. Oh, it's lovely. It tells it in such a nice way. I know. <laughs> right, so we are now going to do a little Bible race. Bible race! So Hannah, what are we looking for? We are looking for Luke 19 verse 10. She's there. I did it. She's Luke there. 19 verse 10. Have you got your Bibles? We I've have got ours. I've got that you have. Pretty Oof. good. Oof. Pretty good. Right. Should we go for it? Yes. We're in the same book as we were last week. I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so you want to go to the same place you were. Remember where that was. Okay. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, okay. I, uh, I'm there. No, I'm there. So, um, Luke 19 verse 10 says, The Son of Man came to find lost people and save them. Now, this is really relevant for Zacchaeus' story, because you could argue in the way that he was acting, he was lost. He had... His faith wasn't there. He was stealing from people. He was a really bad person when you think about it. And at the end of that verse, it says, Jesus came to save them. He saved Zacchaeus. While Zacchaeus then went off and did some amazing things, gave back four times the amount of money that he stole. And he was being generous to people, serving people, and doing what Jesus would want from him. So that is an incredible story. It's really um, cool. Do you want to show us the craft for this week? Good. Do I ever? So, as we know, Zacchaeus was up in a tree. So, we've got a little basic one that I can do, which means that all of you can do this to a much higher standard. So, what it is, is Zacchaeus at the bottom of the tree. Oh, 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 oh. And then he's up in the tree. And then when Jesus, what did Jesus do? Ask him to come back down again. So, you can pull him. If I could work the rubber band very well you can bring him back down to the bottom of the tree. So awesome. that it is, it is our craft this week. Awesome. Well, guys, if you want to um, send us any of your crafts that you do or you've got um, any challenges that you want us to see us doing, um, we are willing to do anything messy, as you saw last week, um, <laughs> then do email us at interns at Yay. Just a little arm stretch at the end. <laughs> um, 
um, <laughs> yes, please do get in touch. We love hearing from you. Um, yeah. Do you want me to pray? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, dear Father, we just thank you that when we are lost, you come to save us. You mm. send your son on earth to save us all. And just like stories like Zacchaeus, we can be generous, we can be giving people, and we can help after we know Jesus and love Jesus. Um, yeah, we just thank you that you are watching over all our lives, and we just pray that you'll watch over everyone's life going forward this week. You'll keep them safe, you'll help them to have some fun, um, yeah, and hopefully they get to grow closer to their family and friends as well as growing closer to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the service. You'll see my face again with a similar background. <laughs> um, and, um, and we hope you have a good rest of your week. Um, we'll see you next, next time. Next week, we will indeed. How exciting. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Have a lovely week.